Another live look for you now from Panama City Beach, Florida, as subtropical storm Alberto moves in. We already showed you those huge waves that surfers were out trying to brave. Ill advised, right, Nate? It is. We saw someone swimming there earlier this morning. We've already had to have people pulled out because of rip currents and high surf, and uh, we unfortunately had someone die in, in high waves on, on Friday. In, unrelated, but still kind of related to what Alberto was doing out there right now. So everyone needs to be safe if they're down near the beach, and everyone needs to be safe around here, too. We've got several impacts that will be uh, moving in later on tonight and into tomorrow. Showers and thunderstorms around this morning, most of them have dried up, but we've got another wave coming, and then another, and then another, and then Alberto starts to move in itself by later on tonight and into early tomorrow morning especially. So, Alberto, the particulars, still with winds of 65 miles per hour, moving north at 6, just did a little calculation. It's about 20-ish miles away from the Panama City coastline. It looks like that's where it'll make landfall, anywhere between Panama City and Fort Walton Beach. And as it continues to move to the north, later on this afternoon into the evening, it will make landfall, then move north into South Alabama. By Tuesday early morning, it'll be south of Montgomery, then moving in to Central Alabama. Between, say, 3 and 4 o'clock, I think that's when our real impacts start. Then it moves right up I-65, basically cutting the state in half. And by Tuesday night into early Wednesday, it's just a remnant low that gets moved to the north and then back to the east. And we won't have to worry about uh, Alberto anymore. However, lingering impacts will still be felt around here by Wednesday. The future cast shows the showers around early and then another band. This heavier band that future cast is picking up on, this will be indicative of what we see over the next 12 hours or so. Expecting a couple more of these bands to move in with some embedded thunderstorms that could produce some gusty winds and also the chance, the low end chance, of a tornado. And then we actually get the center of Alberto to move in. You see a lot of rain around central Alabama. This is where we'll also see the risk for some severe storms as well. Now, we're not expecting, okay, a tornado. However, it's not impossible to see one. So we want everyone to be weather alert on Tuesday for the chances. Now, the chances of that is basically East Alabama and kind of even shave that back. The impacts will be a low end tornado threat and gusty winds. Would not shock me to see that happen anywhere east of I-65. And also east of I-65 and along that, that stretch of road, we've got a flash flood watch in effect from now until 7 o'clock on Tuesday. Everyone needs to be prepared for about a couple of inches of rain, but some spots will see four to five inches of rain. That's why we have a weather alert in place for Tuesday. Showers and thunderstorms around for Wednesday as what's left of Alberto gets pulled up. And then more typical summertime weather. Thank goodness. Thursday, Friday, and for the weekend ahead. Lee?